Hello, my Cancerians. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for stopping by Spirit of Me and Love and Eleven to get your to get your person reading. It's your girl Stardust 1111 here. Hoping and wishing everyone is doing well and staying healthy out there. Okay, so Tarot is gender neutral. Your kings to be queens and vice versa. So don't get too caught up in the genders here. And also Tarot is timeless. So these can be events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that will in the near future unfold for some of you cancerians not for all of you guys all right okay strength <laughs> so we have the queen of pentacles and strength here so that's Virgo, towards capricorn or leo energy they're talking to me today then you have temperance here right so you have everything you need to prosper. I feel like your person sees you as very abundant, nurturing, kind, and caring. They view you as a wife or a mother here in the Queen of Pentacles type of energy. So let me get your rest of your cards and get you your story. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I just really don't know what to make of this. <laughs> Let's get into your reading. We have the... Queen of Pentacles here in the Strength card. Your person sees you as nurturing, as um, very kind, caring, and giving, but you can be someone that is a business owner, entrepreneur here. They definitely see that. Um, I see that your person's energy is not a cup, so they know that you are the right person um, and they're ready to come in and give you an offer here and that Knight of Cups type of energy here. This is someone younger than you, Cancer, here. Um, they feel that they don't know if you're waiting until they're ready, although there's an age difference here between your person. Um, they feel like they can deal with whatever comes their way um, when it comes to you. They see you as very strong. They see that you embody a very high vibration and a type of strength and confidence um, that um, you exude is very attractive to them, is very alluring to them, and they definitely watch you. I see here... Um, and that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Then we have Sag as well as Gemini with the lovers here. So you have a lot of major arcanas here. So you've rocked this person's world in a major way. Um, they're really trying to be strong and hold back from rushing into you with this offer because they feel you're very mature and there could be some fear of rejection here. Also see that um, they see that you can find clarity through calm. Your person looks at you and sees that um, you're abundant and that you could probably have your choice of lovers if you wanted. But they trust and know that you're one that wants to come forward and make a commitment here. Um, you have someone you can be meeting that's kind of like a divine counterpart, like a twin flame. They same to share values and needs and wants as you here. Um, it wants things are beginning to manifest fast. Many manifestations, many opportunities coming your way. Um, here with this person, they definitely want to come in and communicate here in the Eight of Wands. Someone could be traveling to you to communicate or already be at a distance from you. But um, they also see that you love and you care for yourself first here. Ten of Wands here. So this person's energy, they're overwhelmed about coming forward and making a decision to you because this is a younger person. And they feel like they're so used to making decisions without pressure. But the time is running out here for them to come in with the temperance energy. And your temperance came in the reverse. So I'm going to take that back. Sorry, guys. I was looking at my other cards. I'm going to take this back in reverse because that is the message here. Um, as I go into your other cards that this person sees that um you make decisions without pressure and that the time is running out here with the temperance being um, the balance in time. It's about being patient and waiting and in the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups type of energy. This person is all about being flighty. Um, some of you can have two different suitors here. One is very loving and, and nurturing and emotional and, and it's very much in love and head over heels and it's going to be like a committal type of energy. Then you have your Knight of Wands here, and then your Ten coming right before the Knight of Wands. Like this, this person is showing up, showing you that um, oh, it, as fast as it starts, it'll be over with this person. The Ten of Wands, um, being overwhelmed, burdens here, but it's like um, also biting off more than you can chew. So um, be careful when you see this person that comes in that's really um flighty. They're risky and they make decisions quick, but this person only wants to come in and get what they want, and then they want to you know leave you holding the. The end of the the other end of the stick, which is not the best end, like the empty cup. So, hmm. 
Wow. <laughs> Man holding a heart. Oh my goodness. Like every. <laughs> okay, spirit. Get this card, though. I'm telling you guys. I think I've gotten this already for a couple of the other signs. All right, spirit. Okay, and envy. <laughs> And then holding a heart and envy and third chakra. I need a book for your third chakra here. With your king of cups, their knight of cups. I'm, I think this is the energy that you want to go for. Um, and then you have ace of wands. That's the last card I'm going to take. Your knight of cups energy here. I feel this is more of a person that's holding the heart for you. That's wearing their heart on their sleeve. They want to come in and make an offer here. But this person is like, you know, they're a knight of cups. So they're younger. They may be immature and don't know how to express their love or to show you their love or concern for you. So this person wants to grow into the man holding your heart. And also can be someone that you've been with and dealt with um, over much time past before. And, um... You know, you've watched this person grow. They've watched you grow. There's been communication. At some point, you fell in love. There could have been many lovers between the two of you, but you still chose each other. You and this person will still choose each other before it's all said and done. Um, card 37 for third chakra, Archangel Camille. All right. And then we have woman holding the coin, and I have to take that because I saw it. <laughs> woman holding the coin. So they definitely see your worth. They see your value. And Queen of Pentacles. That's what's up. Emotions of desire, life force, energy. The powerful Archangel Camillo is holding a beautiful spear of golden light at the solar plexus. And you guys are visual. At the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card upright appears, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. So go for it, you know, and beautiful, beautiful. Then I also see here that um, you're inspired to follow your passions and your dreams, but in love, this person is inspired to follow you because you sparked that fire in them. They're very passionate about you. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. All right. Some of you guys are starting new businesses and congratulations here with the woman holding the coins and the Ace of Wands. Your business is going to be very um, beneficial. It's going to pay off. It's going to be very prosperous for you here. So continue to work on yourself. Your energy is really here and it's really, really popping for you guys. And a queen of pentacles, woman holding a coin here. Your value and your worth. Beautiful, beautiful energy for my lovely Cancerians. And I hope someone got what they needed here. I hope your situation works out for you. Thank you all so much for joining me. Namaste.